Alrighty, hello there! My name is Kassasara and in today's video I'm gonna show you how to install and set up Lugperms on your Minecraft server. Now Lugperms is by far the best permissions plugin out there. If you want different groups and ranks on your Minecraft server then Lugperms is the way to do it. Now many plugins will actually require you to have a permissions plugin installed on your Minecraft server. So if you've been having some trouble with other plugins then installing Lugperms might just fix your problem. Now I have actually made a tutorial about Lugperms before, though no, it has been a while and I think I can explain it better now. So before we start, it would really mean a ton if you could leave a like on this video, also check if you're subscribed to the channel. Most people who watch my videos are actually not, even though you're just a single click away, two clicks if you also want to enable notifications. And then with all that out of the way, let's dive right into this. So before we're gonna start setting up Lugperms, you will need to install a few plugins on your Minecraft server. First of all, of course, Lugperms. Because otherwise, why are you watching this video? Now Lugperms you can just easily download from the link in the description. The same thing goes for Essentials and Essentials Chat. Now installing Essentials and Essentials Chat is not necessary. But if you want to group or rank your in to be showcased inside of your chat, you will need a chat management plugin. I use Essentials Chat myself, I think it's great. Which is why I'm showing you how to do it with Essentials Chat. And last but not least, you want to install Vault. Now the only thing Vault does is making sure that Essentials and Lugperms can communicate with each other and if you don't have vault installed then essentials will not be able to showcase your lookperms rank inside of chat or inside of your tab list now of course the links to all of these plugins will be in the description make sure to download them drag them into your plugins folder and then restart your minecraft server so the next thing you want to do is rejoin your minecraft server and then type slash plugins just like that by doing that you can see all the plugins that have been successfully installed on your minecraft server and you should see these four plugins here. If anything here appears red for you, you might have to check if you're using the right version of the plugin. Now the nice thing about Lugperms is that you can do pretty much everything from an online editor. To enter that online editor, all you want to do is type slash LP, which stands for Lugperms, and then editor. Press enter and it will give you a link. We're gonna click on the link, we're gonna open the link, and after that it will take you to this website. This is Lugperms online editor, and through here you can add groups. You can edit what those groups can do. You can let them have prefixes. So for example VIP in front of your name or owner or whatsoever. You can even make tracks. A track is for example if you have a moderator on your server and you got an admin on your server and eventually the moderator will get a promotion. They will be promoted to administrator that that's something you can do with tracks so you can so you can make a track that goes from helper to moderator to administrator and if somebody is a moderator and you promote them then they will automatically go to the administrator role so let's go and click on this arrow here like you can see we got one group here it is called default and it's a group you can't delete you also don't want to delete it and you don't want to change its name if you do really want to change the name default then you will also have to change some stuff in the config file now to be clear the default it shows here is not what will appear inside of your chat. What appears in chat is completely customizable and up to you. So first before we're actually gonna add permissions to this group let's add some basic stuff. So the first thing you want to do is go to add permission all the way at the bottom and then type wait dot one. Then you can just press enter and after that it will show up here. Now what does wait dot one do? Wait dot one makes it so that the weight of this group is one. In other words the least important group. If you're making another group for example VIP then you want the weight of that group to be higher than one. For example Two. Then if you're gonna make an owner group, you want the weight of that group to be even higher than the VIP group. So maybe you want to make that 5 or 10. That way you will also leave some room for other groups in the middle. Of course, you can always change the weight, but why not just have it right the first time. After that we're also gonna make this the default group. Of course the group is called default, but we want this group to be the actual default group of the server. In other words, the group where people will go in when they join the server for the very first time. To do that we're gonna type meta dot default dot true 
just like that. Press enter and you're done. Now, last but not least, we want to add a prefix. Now, a prefix is what will show up in front of your name in, for example, chat or the tab list. You see it on many servers, on Hypixel as well. So we're gonna type prefix, then a dot, and then a one. Why are we typing a one here? Well, in this case, one is the weight. So our default group has a weight of one, so our prefix will have a dot one. Then we want to type a second dot, and after that, our prefix. Prefix. Now you can use color codes, so that's extremely handy. If you don't know what the Minecraft color codes are, a link will be in the description of this video so you can check them out. But in my case, I want my default group to have a gray color, for example. So let's go and use the color code for gray. Then I want to have one of those brackets, whatever you call them. I'm gonna type a member, then another one of those brackets. And after that, very important, a space. So after you've made your prefix, just put a single space there. If you don't put a space there, then the prefix and your username will not have any space between them. In other words, it will look extremely bad. So just make sure you have a space after the last bracket. After that, we're gonna press enter. And there we go. Now we can just click on add in the bottom right corner. There we go. And all that stuff has been added. So we got a prefix. It is the default group. And it has a weight of 1. Now let me very quickly show you how to make a VIP group for example. So I would just click on plus. Then the weight will be 2. This is also very handy. When you're creating a new group. It will automatically do some stuff for you. So that's really nice. Now the group name will be VIP. The prefix will be in a gold color. So let's make a gold color in one of those brackets, VIP, one of those brackets, and then a space. The parent will be default. What is a parent? Well, basically what the parent means is that the VIP group will inherit all the permissions from the default group. So in a second, we're gonna give the default group some permissions. And by making the default group the parent for the VIP group, the VIP group will also be able to do everything the default group can also do. And of course more, which is all the stuff you add to the VIP group. In other words, extremely handy. So parent is default, weight is two, VIP, blah, 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 add group. There we go. Like you can see, it pretty much has the exact same layout as the default group. So we got a weight, in this case it is two. We got a prefix, which we just set. So prefix dot two dot, and then your prefix. And then we also got group dot one. This is the parent. This will make it so that the default group is the parent for the VIP group. Then the last thing I will do is add meta.default.false. And this will make it so that this is not a default group here on the server. Just to be 100% sure that people will not spawn inside of the VIP group when they first join the server. Okay, when that's done, let's add some permissions. Well, maybe even the most important question, where can you find permissions? Well, everywhere. If if you're running this plugin then you're probably running a paper or a spigot server. Paper and spigot both have permissions for themselves. We also have essentials installed. Essentials also has permissions. But if you're gonna install another plugin, for example parkour, for example deluxe hub, for example iridium skyblock, world edit, world guard, maybe you want a plot plugin on your server, maybe you want better RTP on your server. It doesn't matter what plugin it is, most plugins will come with permissions. Now, if you're looking for the permissions of a specific plugin, I would highly recommend checking out the page where you got the plugin from. So many plugins are on Spigot MC. If you downloaded your plugin from Spigot MC, I would go there and most of the times there's a tab with permissions or there's a wiki, but somewhere on that page, it should tell you the permissions and what they do. In my case, I only got essentials installed and by default, players can do pretty much nothing. So slash home, for example. A very nice command that Essentials adds to your server. Let's go and add that to the default group. Now there are two ways to do that. You either go to the website from Essentials and check the permissions out. Or you scroll in this very long list and look for the permissions you're looking for. Most of them are pretty straightforward. For example, Essentials.Rules. What do you think this permission will do? Indeed, it will allow players to use the slash rules command. In my case, I want to be able to set a home. So we're going to type set home. And there we go. Essentials.set home. Click. There we go. After that, I also want them to be able to go to their home. So that is just home. Essentials.home. 
perfect. And above that, I see another permission that we want players to have also. Essentials.del home. In other words, delete home. We also want to add that, so just click on it. And we're gonna click on add in the bottom right corner. Click. Our default group will now be able to set a home, delete it, and go to their home. And because the VIP group has parented the default group, the VIP group will now also be able to set a home, delete it, and go to there. Now in our VIP group, let's add a command like fly essentials.fly and now people in the vip group will be able to fly people in the vip group will also be able to set a home delete it and go to there the default group can also do slash home but they can't use fly now something else very cool you can do in look perms is play with the value expiry or the context now first of all value what is that well basically this whole line says essentials.fly value is true which means players will get access to this command well there are a few commands in minecraft that are enabled by default for example the slash plugins command well if you're a server owner then most of the times you don't want that so what we're gonna do is we're gonna type plugins here and you can immediately see a bucket command bucket.command.plugins let's click on it so we add it and after that we're gonna to change the value to false we're gonna add it now the vip group will no longer be able to use the slash plugins command that's pretty cool right now our vip group can fly our default group can't the default group is now very sad because they can't fly so let's give them fly but let's only give them fly for a day so let's type fly go essentials.fly value is true expiry that's cool okay let's click on it well today of recording this it is september 14 so let's click on september 15 nice let's add it there we go essentials.fly will expire in 23 hours so for the upcoming day the default group will be able to use slash fly after that they won't anymore how cool is that that's very cool but the coolest thing probably i think so is the context so what the context does basically is make sure you don't always have access to this command you can use essentials.fly but only when you're in a certain scenario for example a certain game mode or you're in a certain world so instead of fly let's use warp so we're gonna type warp here we see essentials.warp perfect now here at context i'm gonna click on plus and at first we'll have to give a key now a key can be many things like you can see it can be a world it can be a server it can be a dimension type it can be a game mode it can be lots of stuff and yes you read that right even server so this is bungee cord compatible and you can make it so in look perms that players will only be able to use certain commands in certain servers so i'm gonna click on world and after that i'm going for world's nether and we're gonna click on add context and then on add here in the bottom right corner bam now players will only be able to use slash warp inside of the nether now you can add multiple contexts so you can add another one for example game mode and then spectator add context so now players will only be able to use slash warp inside of the nether when they're in game mode spectator and you can even add a server to it and make it even more specific i think you get it it's very very cool now you can also give permissions to players without putting them in a group so here we also got the user step if we click on it then you can see kasasara that's me currently i'm in group.default well no i don't want to be in default i want to be in vip there we go group.vip now i will be in the vip group but i also want myself to have the slash burn commands that's what i want essentials.burn let's add it so i will now be able to use the slash burn command even though the vip group and the default group both don't provide it so that's very cool user specific permissions now last but not least we got the tracks so before creating a track let's create another staff role so i'm just gonna click here on add group I'm gonna put it to three i'm gonna call it admin now we got an admin group here and the admin group will have the star permission kasasara what is the star permission what does it do well the star permission will give you every single permission in other words i will be able to use every single command inside of minecraft cool now we got three groups default vip and admin let's go and add a track so how do you add a track very easy here at the top left corner we got tracks just click on plus we're gonna give it a name for example epic it's a great track name and then i'm gonna add the vip group 
and the admin group. You can see the arrow here. The arrow means that from VIP group you will be promoted to the admin group. Click on add track and there we go. We now got the epic track and that's literally all that's to it. So now if you put someone in the VIP group and after that you promote that person and then they will be promoted to the admin group. That's all it does but it's really cool and really handy. We have created our groups. We've done everything we wanted here inside of the lookworms editor. Let's go and save this to our our game. Well all you need to do is click on save here in the top right corner and after that it will give you a command. Just click on it to copy it to your clipboard. After that go back inside of Minecraft and then just paste that command here. Press enter and there you go. All the changes have been applied. We now got three groups. Default, VIP, and admin. Let's type something in chat. Hello, for example. And you can see, indeed, there's member in front of my name. Now, there are multiple ways how you can put someone in another rank. I just showed you how to do it in the Lookworms editor. You can also do it in game. So if we type slash LP user, then the user you're talking about, in my case, I'm talking about myself, Kasasura. So Lookworms user Kasasura. And we're gonna type parent set and then the new group we want to be in in my case i want to go to the vip group and if i type now i will be in the vip group and of course the same thing goes for admin so let's go to admin and let's talk and now i'm in the admin group how freaking cool is that now if you're wondering why my name is red that's because of essentials that's something essentials does all the op players will automatically have a red name that's something you can easily disable inside of the essentials config file if you don't know how to do that and you want a tutorial on how essentials works there will be an information symbol in the top right corner of the screen right now if you click on there you will see my essentials tutorial and you can check it out this is how you set up look perms. Now do keep in mind that these are only the basics. There's much much more you can do with look perms. It is very cool and if this plugin looks interesting to you I would highly recommend checking it out. It is pretty necessary to have a permissions plugin on your Minecraft server if you're running any plugins at all and I think by far look perms is the best permissions plugin out there. And then guys that's gonna be it. I really hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to leave a like. And if you're new to the channel, not subscribed yet, and you do enjoy the content, make sure to smash that subscribe button and click on the notification bell. You would really help me out by doing that. You actually would. And then, that's it. I hope you have an amazing day. And then I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.